Well, percenters, welcome back to 1424 Basketball Training, where the goal is to take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. For those that are new, welcome. I'm Coach Tommy. I'm a former psychologist, now a performance enhancement specialist and basketball coach. On this channel, I simplify life and basketball into three buckets, mind, body, and craft. In today's teaching tape, game five, Nuggets, Blazers. So let's see what we can do to improve our minds today. Zdravo svema. How's my Serbian to... Uh, the people out there in Serbia watching. This is game five. I know it goes to uh, overtime or something. Didn't see who wins. Nuggets fans, I hope uh, Nuggets wins. Um, but uh, I picked <coughs> Blazers to win the series. So someone told me something cool about Austin Rivers, about him getting dumped. Um, it's like when you're, you know, when you get dumped by every girl and then you figure out that uh, it's not the girls that the, that's the problem, it's you. So I guess he embarked on his journey and uh, improved himself to become a much better person and player. So will I start, will I start liking Austin Rivers? I like him a little bit more, but uh, to be determined, my mind is a uh, change, will be changed if, if he shows me. Rivers. Some people that have such slow feet, um, this is a great example of great feet. Boom, right? As soon as his hands touch the ball, the feet drop into a jumper. So this is what I call a drop, right? That, that little thing right there, he lifted his feet. Right now his feet are hovering. They lift really, really quick and then they drop. And then you get elastic bounce or recoil. So that's a hop jumper. So if you guys are heavy on your feet, you need to work on your elasticity a little bit. Why is my big head in the way? Right, let's focus on the substance over the style, right? Uh, rolls versus positions, off ball movement versus on ball movement, like right here, he's gonna be wide open. He could either wait here, he could slide down, he can move into this gap, he can drift up here, right? Off ball movement versus on ball movement. And then team stuff versus individual stuff. Oh, Compazzo. Breaking off Dame one time using a little bit of muscle. Get off me, boy. And so you could see, you could see the uh the Blazers are, you know, playing the pass as CJ backs up. And then Compasso actually realizes he's open. Does he flex right here? Does is that a flex? Ha! <laughs> Gumbasso, been hanging around too many Americans. 2.5 drill, right? So I always talk about working in, in spirals and then two dribbles or less, 0.5 seconds or less to make a decision, right? He closes out high, just come here, weave right back in front and then bank it, right? If you guys are, are young, small, average height, less average height, you don't have the uh, verticality or the strength to get all the way in, one or two dribbles, settle down, hit a floater this way or one or two dribbles settle down this way and then bank it or float it in right turn those into your layups you don't got to get all the way in no matter what other all the other coaches tell you i will i will give you one secret um right when i talk about trash cash trash splash cash right uh trash is less than 60. Ah, good lord. Splash is uh 60 to 80. And then cash is above 80. This is the stuff you should be working on in practice, right? Everything at some point, everybody's trash. Right. So if you can't make more than 60 percent in practice when nobody's guarding, you no pressure, no nothing. It's trash, man. This is trash. Once you get to splash, this is the stuff I, I would like to start seeing in the game. I'm comfortable if you take it in the game. The stuff that I really want you getting to is the cash stuff, the layups, the wide open shots, the catch and shoots. A lot of you guys won't even ever <coughs> even able won't even be able to get to cash in practice because you don't you know, get enough reps and have the right techniques and stuff like that. So remember, everything is going to be trash. If you pull something out in trash that the coach, you know, sees, 
you do never seen you do and you pull out in a game he'll bench you but if you pull out something and it looks like trash or something that's not you know traditional and you just miss it a good coach will just you know encourage you to keep shooting because i've seen you practice it a dozen times so be careful um if it looks like trash and it goes in sometimes a coach uh, a less worthy coach will think it's a good shot um, but remember, a good shot does not really matter if it goes in or not. A good shot is something that you practiced and uh, that I know your percentage is on, that you know your percentage is on, that you're confident in shooting. Like this Aaron Gordon shot, I think it's ugly as hell. I think his jumper form is ugly. Actually, that one wasn't too bad. But, you know, go look at his percentages. I'm sure it's probably in the, the splash range during practice. Like that for Lillard, blow by, that's a cash, right? Those are easy layups for him. Jokic, mid-range. I want him to shoot that every single time, right? <laughs> I want him to be aggressive with this one, the high position three. Nurkic gets close. If, if he's uh, too close, then just blow right by. If he's late, just shoot it. Um, Jokic. 23 to 12. Oh, Aaron Gordon coming out super aggressive. His jumper must have been feeling good in the warmups. So when I talk about elastic feet, skis pointing in, boom. Okay, this is him actually pointing the skis in, hitting, hitting balls of the feet first. So this is how you transfer energy quickly, elastically. Boom. All right, skis going in, skis going in. All right, Michael Porter Jr., Skis going away, skis going away. Not, not the most efficient way to jump. Twenty-six to twelve. Wow, they they run in place for Simons. This is a super high, you know, dribble handoff just to get Composto running, and then you get Simons coming across on an Iverson cut, right? Run him right into uh, Nurkic. They're letting him shoot this. So um, message to the slightly JVs and varsity that are, are getting better and better, right? If the only time you should be practicing on the three-point line is in this range when there's not much more room, right? If you're shooting right at the line, you're never going to get the shot in the game because most guys are going to close out here. That means you got to elevate above their hands. So you better start moving back. Um, I'll say it once. I'll say it again, right? Your horizontal is much more important than your vertical. So... More time on your shot, less time on your bounce. Yee. So it looks like uh, they're trying to get Aaron Gordon on Lillard. Not going to work off ball if, if Lillard doesn't have the uh, off ball stuff. Last game. Norman Powell was running a lot of playmaking stuff. Looks like Anthony Simons is, you know, getting in the playmaking business. Carmelo, it's too easy. Boom. Oh, got you. One dribble step back or one dribble pull up. Understanding the angles, right? You get them up in the air. A lot of players will, you know, get here left, right, and try to lean or go straight, but that allows your guy to get back in front to block. Okay, Carmelo wisely. Right, gets him up in the air, and then he positions his feet this way, so his shoulders are here. So now the defender has to go through him to, to contest the shot. So understanding that you have to square up in the air. You have to square up in the air. A lot of guys are like, oh, yeah, I should square up with my feet on the floor. You could square up with your feet on the floor. That would be fundamentally, fundamentally correct, but you won't get the shot off. So it's just uh, the paradox of basketball. The, the better you get, the less of those fundamental things, you know, you, you get away with. It's kind of the paradox of life. So a quick double on, on Damian Lillard, right? Get rid of it quickly, swing it, quick rotations, right? He has Nurkic, he also has a corner shooter, right? Jokic got to roll down quickly to cover. So if you get rid of it quick, and throw it to the open space instead of throwing it to the person throw it to the open space right get a nice easy dunk for your buddy 
Find the open space. Don't look for an open shot. Find the open space. Thirty-eight. Oh my god! Just realized the score. Thirty-eight. They just bombing threes. Wow! What light feet? That's impressive. Oh crap! Oh, that's impressive, Nurkic. MPJ with the post up? What the hell? Okay, so he can do this. I mean, I think there was like comparisons of him and KD. He is no way near KD, not even in the goddamn slightest. So you Denver fans that thinks he's turning into KD, um, you're smoking too much weed. I mean, the weed is too good in Colorado. Michael Porter Jr. at his best. Um, comparable right now might be Clay Thompson. And don't get me wrong, Clay Thompson and Michael Porter Jr. are very good. KD, uh, probably the best player in the NBA. That is a very tough shot. That's, that's looking like CJ McCollum. I will let MPJ shoot that. I will live with that. Howard, I will live with this shot. So if I'm uh, Portland... I'm in the huddle. Stick to your stick to the game plan. I will stick with this game plan again. MPJ posting up a smaller Damian Lillard. He's not comfortable posting. All he's trying to do is get back to a turnaround, back to a jumper. He doesn't have post moves. It's all turnaround jumpers. So all he's doing is just elevating over a smaller guy. <coughs> much, much tougher shot than a simple catch and shoot for MPJ. Carmelo, that's a tough three, too. Pass fake, hand in the face. What happened? He didn't hit his little sambor. Oh, my God, it got blocked. Too obvious. This is the first time I've ever seen him get blocked. This is, this is I've played with you many, many years, you bastard. I know what you're doing. God damn you. So you finally got him one time. Doesn't matter. Great hustle by Jermichael Green. Oh, lazy Nurkic stepping up on the D, right? So I always talk about how the game is more football than, than anything, right? Turning into football, he's a quarterback, right? These are all receivers, receivers and DB. The only way to stop a good quarterback, Tom Brady, Drew Brees, uh, these guys that, you know, you got to put pressure on. So you better put your hand up. You better move your feet, right? Give them all different kinds of angles, all right? Hopefully, you know, uh, Jokic takes a game, a game, not a game, a possession off. They're down by 18, so he just got lazy for a split second. Get a big steal. Oh, it turns into a three. Three point layups. Oh my God, it turns into four. Jokic, two standstill blocks. Um, this is when Norman Powell, the footwork. Right, this is the mechanic. So Norman Powell, if you go look, a lot of his dunks are left, right plant. So now he's on a right, left plant. So he's not comfortable with that. So he goes all the way around on the other side. I guarantee you, if he was coming down this way, he would do a left, right plant and try to dunk on Jokic because Jokic is not a, you know, big time above the rim blocker. Right. So he comes around. Jokic is, you know, waiting for it on the other side. <clears throat> blocks him here. Same thing here. Tippy toe blocks. Just using his length. That's really when you got to, uh, you know, understand the, I guess, the body mechanics scouting report on players. So great job at Jokic. I mean, he's a very smart defender. He looks like uh, Denver kind of giving up the lead here. I mean, I, I didn't even notice the score. I just kind of hear the buzz of the crowd is gone. Same exact move, <clears throat> right? So same exact play, but this time Norman Powell gets a better angle on him. Okay, so he gets in front before he gets the reverse layup. So he shows it on this side, right? And then Jokic has to put his arms up and then you can come around. So as a little guy, you got to get that defenders uh, that big to get his arms up before you go to the up and under. Hit him with the spin. So this move, okay, the two dribbles, pump fake, step through. 
you have to do it high because you're going to spin, you're going to get here, and then you have to step through. So if he's getting high, you know he's going to go to it. Um, you want to kind of let him get lower, and then he'll probably pound his way in for a uh, left-handed hook or something like that. So tendencies and stuff like that. So great, great job at Nurkic, right? He doesn't fall over. He knows it's coming. He pushes him off. He knows this is coming. I don't know why he doesn't slide and try to block it with his left hand. Right, two arms up. He just needs to take another small little slide there and try to block with the left. That's a very, very hard move to stop, even though you know it's coming, especially because they're both so big. Jesus Christ, cat. Logo Lillard, three-point layups. Oh, my God, again. Long shots, long rebounds. Wow. I mean, they were down 20. Now they're back up. So it looks like the score flipped, right? <clears throat> Lillard, Lillard and the Blazers scored like 40 in the second second quarter. And Nuggets scored like 20. Austin Rivers. Oh, he changed it at the last second. Right, the three changes, change of level, speed, direction. That's that's what you need for basketball. Change of level, change of speed, change of direction. Right, River shows all of it here and change of mind. Beautiful, beautiful. Got to give him props when he, when he deserves it. Let's see what he does here, right? Pick and roll, snake the pick and roll, in and out cross, get into the open spot, get your guy behind you, right? Pause and hesitate, see what he's doing. Now he's on your hip, penetrate the gap. Rondo fake, Hakeem dream shake, show the ball, expose the ball. There goes your guy, pivot back, jump up like you're going to do a floater, get the guy to commit, very last second, recognize that it's a bad shot if you shoot it, dump it off to the dude down there. Aaron Gordon throw it in reverse. Oh, down low, he missed a wide open pass. So this is when uh, Dame can, you know, manipulate the defense a little bit better, come off, look like here, and then, you know, throw a fake lob or a lob rifle pass down to Norman Powell right here. All right, so as he jumps, he should be staring at Cantor and then rifle it down there. So Damian Lillard can uh, learn to manipulate the defense better with his eyes now. Jokic. Touch that back, there you go. So if they, if, if they give you this, this is Austin Rivers. They're about the same size, right? All you need to do is pound one time, get back uphill. The angle's in your favor. It's not that – it's a hard shot, right? You bring the ball up on the, on the right side of your body, pound, bring it up on the right side of your body. If you brought it up on the middle like normal, it would get blocked on the way up or it would be contested. Continue your drift, right? And you see him rotating and squaring in the air. Easy shot? No, but practicable? Yes, very. One of those shots you need to practice a lot, especially if you're a little guy, if you're a shooter. Uh-oh, Jokic got teed up over here complaining. Got smacked. He might have got smacked on the hand. I don't know if it's worth it to complain and get a tee and give up a point. Step back. Um, there's... There's no way, you know, this guy, as low as he is, right, between the leg, delayed, boom, he's already open. That means he's already dead, right? Now he's going to run, and then it's a step back. <clears throat> Where's Norman Powell? Ooh, man, that Denver, you must be hurting right now. You, you were up 20 or something. Oh, good read. Oh, tough, tough shot. At the end of the buzzer, that's a big, that's a big shot, man. What a game, 96-97. <clears throat> Pass that thing. Jesus Christ. That's too easy. I don't know why. Right, no man's land. This is no man's land. Right, you see this lob coming? 
right? You got this little dude on you. You got to you got to come full force. You got to make some kind of decision. You can't kind of come here just to play defense and then think that you're going to guard him and that, that he's going to go switch. You got to you got to go. You got to commit to something. This is not committing to it. All right, as soon as Carmelo lands, he already sees him in the peripherals. Let's not forget Carmelo Anthony is a Hall of Famer. <clears throat> Dude can get buckets. One hundred five ninety eight. Denver is taking the lead back. It's nobody even remotely close. That's Damian Lillard is the most surgical player in the whole NBA. Here comes the early double team. Powell switches the screen. I mean, I guess I guess you're just living with with Dame Lillard shooting these. You're just living with this, like you ain't even doing anything, Jermichael Green. That's worse than uh, Jokic. Tough, tough shots. I'm living with these. Right? Boom, stride stop, big turnaround, using that big old 6'9", 6'10", you know, jumping, turning, fading. Your offense always wins. You got to play the percentages. Defense is all risk management. I do not want, you know, my guy shooting that if I'm Denver. Again, right, you get that screen. Yoga's just doing absolutely nothing. So I don't know how Denver's playing this, but uh, if if Jokic is going to sit back here, right, he's going to get leveled on the screen. Nurkic is a big boy, dude. This guy got to get over, and you got to force CJ. You got to force that pass to CJ or that pass over here. I mean, is this really what you're you're allowing, Denver? I would not allow that, or at least it looks like that's what they're allowing. Very, very tough getting a big. This is like an elevator screen, a pin down for a big. This is a, this is pretty amazing, dude. Right? He comes and goes like this. Nerd rolls because he thinks he thinks uh, Jokic is going to post up. Catches it, boom, great footwork. Just pivots back on the balls of his feet. High position three, Nurkic in a closeout. Too little. No. I don't know why Jokic doesn't get all these guys in foul trouble. Like, I don't know why he just doesn't bully the shit out of Covington. Right, right here. Why wouldn't why wouldn't you just pivot, you know, a little further? Hook him with your with your right elbow, step through, do your little left-handed hook or dump it to here. I understand the pass. It's a good pass. It's a big shot. Austin Rivers with the shit talking. I mean, he might be the spirit animal of the nuggets. I mean, he's the one willing to dish it. So when when he gets it back, you know, he might be the heart of the team right now. Am I right? Am I wrong, Denver? He's that fiery, fiery guy that you need, the passion. I'll live with Covington shooting this versus Dame or Carmelo. So, I mean, you got to live with something, right? So there they go. Get it out of Dame Lillard's hands. Pass fake to Carmelo. Boom. Can't take away everything, defense. It's offense always wins. I love the decision right away, right? Pass, flash, right? Right to the open spot, get it, pivot right away. All right, Covington has no chance, no chance. Don't even dribble that thing. Just catch it, pivot. Left hand on the money. Dribbling on the money. What just happened here? 115, now 119. Maybe um, Denver made two free throws or something. Transition. Wow. 
Uh oh, game time. That's what he does. I mean, I, I didn't even want to say it because you guys know it's all coming. Right. So, how does a 6'1, six, 6'4 six, dude get a shot off over a 6'9, six, 6'10 six, dude? Angles, right? He's right handed. If you're going to let him play it out here, I mean, you've seen him hit it on Paul George all the way out here, right? He's going to do this move. Okay. So, the very, very first thing MPJ should have done is hedge him this way, you freaking moron. This is, this is scouting report. If there was a timeout right here, you cannot just let him do this. This is what he wants to do. This is what he does in his sleep. So the number one, number one mistake you already messed up on is you need to get up and force him going to the left because you're long. So his step back coming this way is going to be a lot harder because he's going to bring the ball to you. So you already fucked up, MPJ. So an aggressive defense would have been been able to not just wait here. You're just waiting. You're just waiting for offense to dictate what you do. <sighs> So Denver, you just lost a gigantic opportunity to win the game there. Oh my God, I'm 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 so for Denver fans right now, I'm disgusted. I'm mad for you guys. I mean, that's a that's a gigantic blown opportunity. Oh, I'm fucking I'm I'm really disgusted. <laughs> oh, all right, let's recover. Let's see who wins this game. Six point lead, two minutes left. Oh my God, you get up nine. I don't know why uh, Yoga is just passing this. I, I don't like it. I really don't like it. But it gives opportunities for guys like Austin Rivers to step up big time. This is the problem that you get. So if you force him left and you put a smaller guy, average size on him, same size on him like Austin Rivers, right? Dame Miller gets to the rack, no problem. Shouldn't have fouled him. Should have just gave it up. Now this is stupid. This is completely stupid. This is when you're a mega star, right? So here, Dame Miller. Right, he tries to go into a step back. Jokic does a great job of blocking it off. There's not enough space here. Dame throws a terrible, you know, he has to throw a terrible pass, right? He has to get rid of it because he's he's stuck. Right. Great job by him to running, running to come get it back. Carmelo's like, you the stud, man. This is your team. It's not my time anymore. Right back to Dame. what the hell right you do everything right um and it's just offense always wins i mean jesus so this is the you know same foot stop touch step back i teach all my players this move austin rivers man you're doing your best it's as best as you can do game is just what the hell is going on man you gonna hit another one? Oh hell no oh my god oh my god i need to go get my dame shirt this is like an instant classic game okay so back here i mean they're trying everybody on him but at this very last second i'm putting um Aaron Gordon or MPJ on him. I'm not putting anybody smaller on him. This is the exact same situation you had last time. Up three, you need a guy driving to the rim, and you do not want to let him get back to his right hand because the angles are always there. Jesus Christ. Uh, Mike Malone, he would never be able to do this on, on uh, Aaron Gordon or MPJ. All right, he, for MPJ or Aaron Gordon, he's going to try to blow by. Oh, I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. I'm amazed. I'm amazed at Damian Lillard. I'm disgusted at Denver's um, defensive scheming. This is where you miss Jamal Murray or Will Barton. Uh, I don't think uh, – I really don't think Austin Rivers has it in him to uh, – 
hit this. He gets a shot. He gets a look. And this is, you know, this is a big, this is the difference between a very solid NBA player and a cold blooded, you know, superstar, dude. Oh my God. I'm a Denver. If you don't win this, I'm. There we go again. So Yoke does a great job. This is a great job, right? He, he's looking, hunting for a step back here, hunting for another step back here. <clears throat> Got to live with that layup, man. Just live with it. Here we go. Coming off to the right. Oh, hell no. Now he's, now he's officially on God mode. The rim is, is literally this big to him. Um, anything he's throwing up is going in. Jesus Christ. I mean, I had a I had a team at once and we were playing and you know, I I'm pretty good at basketball. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, I had teammates that were way better than me that played pro, you know, in Asia and Korea and China. Um one of my teammates he, he had a, like an 80 point game and a 70 point game. Um and all we would do, you know, get one or two shots. And all we would just do would just hunt, hunt him shots. And uh, he was just different. Some guys are just goddamn different, you know. And uh, Damian Lillard is one of those dudes. Just different. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There he goes again. Oh, 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 he stepped out of bounds. Yep, he did. Oh. Oh, I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. Damien only what, scores like 50 and loses. I'm so sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. So Damian Lillard probably got tired towards the end. Um, they started just running everybody at him. And uh, Portland has no way of stopping Denver from scoring. Wow, Denver fans. I mean, Mike Malone, watch the teaching tapes. Guys, send him the goddamn video. Down, down close, you got to manage time, clock, situation, player. 55 ball, double nickel, 10 assists, Covington rebounds, MPJ, 12 rebounds. Jokic, 38, nine assists. He probably got a lot of rebounds in there, too. 43, 45 from three. These guys are shooting amazing. I mean, look at the twos and the threes. They're pretty much goddamn the same. So um, a contested layup is just as difficult or a tough layup or a runner floater is just as uh, hard to make as a as a uh, three-pointer. Wow. What did you guys learn? Denver fans. I know you guys are excited. Oh my God. You guys are up with three, two. My prediction looks pretty bad. I mean, the Portland trailblazers, their, their defense probably looks lacking. I'm going to go do the, the shot by shot. Um, looking to the box score of Jokic and Lillard. Cause uh, what a game. All right, guys, until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.